So now let's solve one. Let's solve one that has uh, forces, and we're going to use Newton's laws for this, right? So we got a five kilogram mass, and all we're ever going to do is like figure out the force at the bottom and the top, right? So here's this five kilograms, right? And uh, it's going in this circle, and uh, we want to know what the force needed to keep it in the circle at the top and the bottom, right? Let's make this guy go clockwise, right? So our tangential velocity is 9.00 meters per second, right? And the radius is 3.75 meters, because apparently that's a very popular radius, right? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what my centripetal acceleration is, right? Since, since I've got the velocity and the radius. Okay, let's just do that. So that's going to be uh, v squared over r. Right, so that's going to be 9.00 squared divided by 3.75. Okay, and 9 squared divided by 3.75 is 21.6. Okay, what that means, since that's bigger than 9.81, that means that the force at the top is going to have to be downward, right? To make it accelerate that fast down at that rate, um, then you have to actually exert a force downward on it, right? At the bottom, there's always going to be a force up. At the top, it's you have to look at this. If it's smaller than 9.81, it'll be an upward force. If it's bigger than 9.81, then it's going to be a, a downward force, okay? And uh, let's see. I think the other thing we need to do is figure out the force of gravity, right? So weight is m times g, so that's going to be 5 times 9.81, right? And that's 49... 0.05 uh, newtons of force, right? Okay, so now we are all set. Now we can set up our f equals ma. Let's do one for the top, right? Let's do one for the bottom. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to say f equals ma, but of course f has to be all the forces acting on it, right? Okay. And so uh, if we look at the forces, we're switching to red now, okay? If we look at the forces acting on this thing at the top, there's going to be the tension, and we sort of know that the tension is going to be down, but we'll just say, you know, we'll just say the unknown force, right? But there's also the force of gravity, and the force of gravity is going to be down, and that's going to be 49.05. Right? And then here, there's also going to be a force of gravity down of 49.05. And here, of course, we know the force is going to be upward, but we'll coyly pretend that we don't, right? Unknown force, right? Okay. And so um, what this becomes then is at the top, we go unknown force, and then gravity is, of course, down. Right? And that's those are the only two forces we got is... is uh, is gravity down and the unknown force, which we, we know it's going to be down to make it accelerate that fast down. And then we say that equals five times. And here's, here's the, you know, where we got to apply our brain. When you're at the top, this acceleration right here, okay, that's toward the center. So our acceleration is actually down, right? So here you've got to make that negative 21.6, right? And now we can solve this, right? 5 times negative 21.6 plus 49.05 ends up being negative 58.95, right? And then we have, what, 3 sig figs, so I guess we'd have to, it's like a moral dilemma, right? Um, I think we have to say 59.0 maybe, right? Right, the negative is down, right? Okay. You need to say down. I mean, not everybody's going to make the downward direction negative like us. So down 59.0 newtons, right? You could have just as easily said 58.9. There's no hard, solid rule that we always have to round 0.5 up. Anyway, uh, and then at the bottom, we're going to use F equals MA, right? Our forces are... Well, the unknown force, right? It's going to be a different force. This is a different force from that, right? Uh, gravity is still down. 
because it defines the direction down. Right? And then this is going to be 5.00 times. And then at the bottom, the center, right? we're moving this way. But remember, we're accelerating always toward the center. And at the bottom, the center is above us. So we're actually accelerating up 21.6, right? All right, so now I'm going to go 5 times 21.6 plus 49.05 to solve that. 157.05, comma, F equals uh, 157.05, right? And then we only have three sig figs, so I guess we have to say uh, 157 newtons up, right? 